Hey everyone, Dave Gwynion here. I thought I'd just record a quick video for uh, my tea inspector customers that have purchased our product there. So I just thought I'd um, record a little extra tips for you. This morning I was browsing around my um, my Facebook newsfeed and I came across this here. It's a suggested post. Obviously it's been uh, promoted to my newsfeed. Um, the reason I'm seeing it, even though I'm not a chef, is because I tend to click on a lot of Teespring related links. So that means in in, in Facebook they um, recognize me as a clicker <laughs> so that's so this person has probably um, put up this ad based on getting clicks not like post engagements or something like that because I usually click on things so anyhow but I came across this and I noticed that they have a fan page dedicated to all their t-shirts so let's go ahead and click on that and I was looking through here and there's a whole bunch of shirts and it's kind of a bit of a gold mine here and if you just keep scrolling down it obviously just keeps revealing all the content of the page one quick way of doing that is just holding down your uh, page down key on your keyboard it's kinda located on the right hand side I don't know you may not have it on your keyboard I do on mine so when I hold it down it just automatically um, will go down to the bottom there and I just keep holding it until it's all done revealing the content should not take too long here you see there's a lot of shirts on here a lot of comments too so I wanted to see which one of these shirts was getting the most sales. So that was the idea. So I I did that. So it's right down at the end. And using T Inspector, we can do this. So let me just bring up T Inspector real quickly here. And if we go and use the custom input under the search analyzer and bring up the custom input here, what we can do is I notice that on this page all these Teespring links are, are just uh, plain Teespring links. There's no um, link cloaking or they're not using like uh, some sort of tracking uh, tool like bitly or, or the Google tracking or anything like that so what we can do is actually to select all in this page so we can go right click select all and I'm just using Firefox doesn't matter if you're using Firefox or Chrome now it's all selected and I'll just put your mouse somewhere where some selected text is left click and just drag it right into the custom input or you can go in other ways, you can go right click and select all, then select copy, and then come over here and just hit the paste button. That's another way. Click go, and I found 69 shirts. Now I've already, um, I've already done it here. I just got it to the side. So what I'll do is I'll just take that other one and I'll just pause it. So I've already, already done it. And as you can see here on that page, I noticed there was uh, some shirt, a lot of gold, a lot of shirts in here that are doing really well. You know, like look at all these shirts over a hundred sales so if I just take a look at those you could see you know I'm a mechanical engineer uh, the bartender one these are really cool so gives you a lot of different ideas for that and then I was thinking well this uh, this kinda gave me another idea for searching this is what I want to show you in this video when I mean searching using the uh, the search bar at the top of Facebook so this is what I was thinking about a lot of shirts are shirt sort of pages like this will have uh, specific words in their page title like for example T or t-shirt or teespring and you'll notice that a lot of pages like this will be a community in fact when I create fan pages where I'm gonna post my t-shirt ads on or use dark posts or whatever um, Facebook will eventually come back in even though you set your page to be like maybe a website or something else, Facebook usually comes back and they'll give you a big warning up here, not a warning, but a big notice saying um, this has been classified as a community. Do you agree? And usually it's sort of put into a community. So when I was thinking about that, when you come up here and you search, this is something I was uh, doing this morning and finding some really good ideas or really good pages to do more research with. Like check this out. What you can do is you put um, communities named T. So now you can see here communities named uh, T right here. So click that and you'll find a whole bunch actually over a thousand pages that have the word T in it and you can see the uh, this is not what I saw this morning here let me show it on my other page yeah here it is okay was it the same 
Oh, yeah, okay, that's right. I used a different word. So you can use T or Teespring or something like that, right? I did this one, Communities Named T-Shirt, and it will go and find all the pages that have the word T-Shirt inside of the title. And it's nice because Facebook is smart enough to know that you can have a dash in there too. So you got lots of different options here. And uh, another thing I did here, what if we just go inside those double quotes and put Teespring. I remember doing that here. Let's take those double quotes. Oh, there we go. And you'll see underneath it says communities named Teespring, but you'll see this little word there, groups. What you want to look for is the one that says pages. Sometimes it doesn't say pages. So just click that. Now we can find all, a whole bunch of fan pages that have the word Teespring in it. And this is better for our uh, for T Inspector because obviously it just searches for uh, Teespring links. But in here we can come and see like some different communities, uh, fan pages, and just take a look. Now this one looks like there's some Teespring in here. and there's So if we do the same trick again, see if we can find something here. So right click, select all, right click and copy. We can bring up T Inspector here. Let's just clear that out. Right click and paste. Found 22. So now we can go through here and see. See right away that one of them got removed for some reason. So they must have some copyright issues on that one. So anyhow, it's just some a different way to search. I thought it'd be a really cool idea to show you. Like uh, you know, you can try different ideas. Just think of different pages that people would use as a generic uh, fan page to put all their Teespring shirts on and coming to mind is I think T would probably be the most common one named T. I'm not sure I thought I saw a different set but yeah there's still lots like Terrific you know T Legacy Yeah, here we go. Here's another one with a bunch of Teespring stuff on it. So, I like guess a bit, a little bit of a gold mine there. You can really get in here and dig in and see uh, what people are doing on Teespring. It's just a different way of, of of researching using the Facebook uh, search bar there. Well, it's actually called the Facebook graph search. That's what that search bar means. But I just call it the Facebook search. But this is sort of I talk about this a little bit in the course already, but I didn't talk about actually um, using these words that you think would be uh, contained within the fan page name like T, T-shirt, that kind of thing. So it gives you another another element of searching for T-shirts and also utilizing um, T-inspector. So on that page there's only one that had some good sales. Uh, Michigan girl in Illinois world. And some sort of bow hunters one. Anyhow, that's pretty cool. Now just one last thing here, I just want to talk about, you probably noticed there's a link or button down below this video that goes to uh, Jay Boyer's uh, product called uh, the PS Instant Expert, Photoshop Instant Expert. And I, I figured I'd include this here uh, just because um, I talk a lot about Photoshop and whatnot within my course and this is a really good course for really cheap, it's like $27 uh, that shows you a whole bunch of different ways to make money using photos and I just thought it was a really good addition to everyone that's um, purchased my product so you know obviously it's totally optional but for such an inexpensive price inexpensive price sorry that uh, they offer here it has really good tools inside of it so um, sorry not tools some tools but mostly just training videos so I'm just in the members area here you can see under the Photoshop training they give you all sorts of really cool stuff that I don't really touch on like uh, you know how to start out with Photoshop I kind of jump right into it right and don't show you just the basics of Photoshop so this is really cool uh, creating files how to edit images working with tools layers text and filters all those sorts of things are really really important when you're designing your t-shirt um, design so this is awesome for just 27 bucks it's really really good you get all sorts of bonuses in here as well like webinars uh, or but making money with stock images they they kind of they take it well beyond just Photoshop training they also show you how to make money with photos like like pictures you take with your cell phone it's it's actually quite surprising you can actually make that kind of money with your pictures from your cell phones but anyhow it's there's a lot of really awesome information here for like 27 bucks they do have an upsell for 97 dollars and the upsell includes all the stuff here in the platinum and they talk about making money uh, 
with Photoshop here, like, uh, you know, calendars, postcards, greeting cards, posters, web graphics, all sorts of cool stuff. But um, I would say the, the most um, important thing of the upgrade package is the fact that you're actually getting private label rights to this system. So I know that, you know, Teespring and also like uh, Photoshop kind of related products are really hot right now in the market. So um, this is a really good opportunity if you want to resell this and rebrand it with your own you know logo or your own name whatnot you can make money with it so that's why it's a little bit more or for 97 bucks it's really good actually you get a whole bunch of reseller tools they teach you how to do it like from like step by step how to set it all up as a white label white label is basically means you can take the product rename it and resell it sort of thing whole bunch of stock uh, images like a ton of images here even like free cover templates for uh, Kindle books like uh, Jay Boyer is really good at Kindle stuff you know he sold like, like tens of thousands of dollars on Kindle and I think at one point he said he had like over a thousand books on Kindle it's quite impressive so these guys really know what they're talking about when it comes to Kindle stuff and they also have uh, make money with t-shirt section in here a little bit different than mine they go into a little bit more different things like um, uh, Facebook hijacking, how to do paid posts and pages, cloaking links, different things that I didn't really talk about. So that's definitely, I definitely recommend it if you can afford it, getting the upgrade package, some really good stuff in there. But for the front end, for only 27 bucks, you get some really good stuff in here. So I, I don't know, I just recommend grabbing it. It'll add to the training that I've already done. Anyways, uh, hopefully you found some awesome info in this video, and we'll talk to you later. Cheers.